in Health Watch. It's the second most common cancer in women. More than 42,000 women are estimated to die from breast cancer this year alone. That's according to the American Cancer Society. Experts say early detection is critical and there's a way to guide women toward the best time to start screening for this disease. When it comes to breast cancer detection and prevention, one size does not fit all. Individualized care should be involved when it comes to breast screening and breast care. Uh, and that means that everybody's going to have a different screening protocol based on their personal and family history. Breast surgeon Dr. Erica Peters with Cleveland Clinic says that's why breast cancer assessments are done to measure an individual patient's risk of developing the disease. There are many tools that can help, including surveys online or done in a doctor's office. The questions calculate risk based on things like age, family history of breast cancer, or other concerns that might indicate cancer-causing genetic mutations, personal medical history, age of first live birth, race and ethnicity, breast density, and hormone exposure. The patient's score will determine when to start breast cancer screening. Most average women should start annual mammograms at age 40. Some women should start screening sooner based, again, on that personal and their family history. Peter says all women should get breast cancer risk assessments at age 25, especially when there's a family history of breast cancer. For those who don't know that history, genetic testing can help. We rely on our genetic counselors who can do a pedigree to the degree that we know about family history. Uh, and then do testing to see if you do carry a genetic mutation that increases one risk of breast or other cancers.